worship you. Speak the word that God needs to hear. He is my hope. He is my helper. He is my strength. He is my joy. He is my beauty. Everything I am is God. God is the strength of my life. The pillar that holds my salvation. The Lord that can make a way where there seems to be no way. Is the one that appears as a pillar of cloud and the pillar of fire. Before his people Israel. Speak the word that God is to you. Shali broka zatahi makazetaya. Mazata pashinda. The Bible said by his strength, by, by his everlasting hand, he led the Israelites out of Egypt. By his everlasting hand, the Lord has brought me this far. He has brought you this far. Speak to him, let him hear your voice. He wants to hear those confessions. The Lord is my hope and my self-afraid. The Lord is my strength. The Lord is my help. Shali Brakazonta. Masinda is my success. Lord, I bless your name. He is the strength in, 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 in the strong. The Lord is the strength in the strong. He is the power in the powerful. Lord, we thank you this morning for who you are to us. For who you are to us. For what you are said to do in our lives. In our midst. For what you have been doing. We worship you. Lord, as we worship you this morning, let the earth see what your mercy can do to deliver us, to set us free, oh, to heal us, to strengthen us, to empower us, to go far in life. Mazaka Bosha Taya, Rosa Tayaba, Seke Libra Kazanta, Sheleke Brokazita Hima Zataya. Masheke lita pra kazonta ya, mazinta pra zata. His name is higher than all names. His name is Jesus. His name is Lord. His name is high. His name is Lord. His name is Lord. His name is higher. Oh, his name is higher. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. His name is Jesus. Oh,
Friday. Thank you for all you have done throughout this fasting period. Thank you for what you do today. Mighty God, we have come to experience you in new dimension, in new levels. Lord, come and reveal yourself to us. Give us specific encounter. Lord, do what no man can do. Holy Spirit of God, come and flood this place. Flood this place. Empower us. Let our hearts be prepared to receive from you. Let your name be glorified. In Jesus' name we pray. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Shout a living hallelujah. You can please have your seat. God bless you. The Lord will bless you. How many of you believe that everything you pray for today, God will hear you? Shout hallelujah. And if you are still doubting if this God, if this Jesus answers prayer, let me encourage you in the book of Luke chapter 8. Jesus answered the prayer of a demon. Luke chapter 8, verses 31 to 33. Jesus appeared in a place and he saw demon manifesting. And he asked, what is your name? He said, we are legion because we are many. And the demon begged Jesus, please don't send us into habits. And Jesus answered that prayer. The Bible said that he sent them into a swine. So if he could answer a prayer of a demon, you are not a demon, you are a child of God. So God will answer you. God will answer me. God will answer us. In the name of Jesus, we are speaking on the power to go far this morning. Open your Bibles with us to the book of Exodus chapter 8. Exodus chapter 8, I will read verse 1 and I will read verse 25 to 28. Exodus 8 verse 1 and I will jump to 25 to 28. Then the Lord said to Moses, go to Pharaoh and said to him, this is what the Lord says, let my people go so that they may worship me. 25. Then Pharaoh summoned Moses and Aaron and said, Go sacrifice to your God here in the land. But Moses said, That would not be right. The sacrifices we offer the Lord our God will be detestable to the Egyptians. And if we offer sacrifices that are detestable in their eyes, will they not stone us? We must take a three-day journey into the wilderness to offer sacrifices to the Lord our God as he commanded us. Verse 28. We can read that together. I want to go. So Pharaoh said, I will let you go that you may sacrifice to the Lord your God in the wilderness, but you must not go very far. Now pray for me. That is the assignment of Pharaoh. And Pharaoh in this case represents the activities of the devil. When we're talking about the power to go far, it's talking about your ability to go beyond obstacle, to go beyond limitation, to go beyond mountains, to go beyond distraction and all the limiting forces and still arrive at your destination. Are you with me this morning? Yes, the most important journey that the devil wants to disturb you with, can you change this slide? This is not controlling. And please follow me. Give me eye contact. The devil will always ensure that it disturbs your journey to heaven. It may not be bothered about your finances. It may not be bothered about your career. But your journey to heaven is interested. 
Are you with me? He is interested. That is why you must not be careless. God commanded his people, go sacrifice to me. Go worship me. And Pharaoh responded, I will let you go, but don't go far. Every word that is speaking to your destiny not to go far, the Lord will silence them today. In the mighty name of Jesus. The scriptures say that so that the devil does not take advantage of us, we should not be ignorant of his devices. 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11. So we must be wise to understand how he operates. In the time of Israelites, he had to speak, I mean, he, he had to speak through Pharaoh. But there's no Pharaoh in our time. He speaks in different way. He uses different tools, different devices. You just have to be sensitive. You must be discerning. And I pray the Lord will help you with discernment. In the mighty name of Jesus. So there are three forces that are contending with your power to go far. Three forces. Three forces contending with your power to go far. Two broadly, but from the two, one is into three faces and the other one will deal with it. So from the first one, is the, is the activity of Pharaoh. We saw how Pharaoh operated in the in life of the Israelites. And Pharaoh operates in three ways. Number one, he wants to disturb the ability of people of God to fellowship with God in a quality way. So he wants to debar them from fellowshipping with God. He doesn't want them to go far in the fellowshipping with God. He doesn't want them to go far in the fellowshipping with God. How does Pharaoh operate in our time? Pharaoh operates through people still, but he places them in position of authority. It could be government leaders, it, it, could, be, it could be national leaders, provincial, it could be municipal. They just come with laws. They come with decisions. We saw an example in the life of Daniel. When Darius the king made a law that Daniel cannot progress in his prayer exploit. So today, the devil operates to, to manipulate the ability of the people of God to fellowship with God. How does he do that? He makes sure that their love for the things of God declines. 2 Timothy 3, 1 to 18 gives us a list of what you can expect. Declining love for the things of God and increasing love for self-love. You see on Instagram today, self-love, self everywhere and relegating the things of God. It makes them to become lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God. It makes them to constantly resist the truth of the word of God makes them to have a form of godliness, but they deny the power thereof. What does that mean? They show up in church on Sunday, on Tuesday, on Friday, but they struggle to live a holy life. Every power that is operating in that way in your life doesn't want you to go far in your spiritual journey. And that is the most important journey that we all must embark on. Are you with me? I know things of spiritual substance doesn't interest people, but this is important. When you are struggling to serve God as much as you should, you have to be aware there is a power at work pulling you back from going far with fellowship with God. Let's rise to our feet. We are going to pray. We we'll pray, we we'll sit, we we'll pray, we we'll sit just to make it easy. We are going to cry and say in the name of Jesus, I receive the power to go far in my service to the Lord. In my service to the Lord, I receive the power to go far. I will no longer struggle to serve God. I will no longer struggle to live holy. In the mighty name of Jesus, this is important for you to pray. 
I will not fall by the wayside. I will finish my... I will not back off on God. I will not turn back on God. I will finish well. I will go far. I will not be tired in this heavenly race. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, I receive this morning the power to go far in fellowshipping with you. In fellowshipping with you. I receive the power to go far. In the mighty name of Jesus, Pharaoh said to Moses and to Aaron, he said, I want you to go serve God, but don't go very far. Lord, every power speaking to our spirit man, not to go far with you. Let such power be displaced this morning. Let such power be dethroned this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, every force contending with our spiritual growth, with our spiritual advancement, with our spiritual maturity, let such power be displaced. Let them be dethroned. Let them be removed. In the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus mighty name we pray this segment is important it's as important as praying for money for family stay with the weight of sin God I mean what is yours that God needs to deal with today cry to the Lord Lord you know me every sin that I'm struggling with Help me to overcome them. Every bad nature, every bad nature, all of those things that you have, that you have coined good English to define self-confidence, when you know you are rude everywhere, Lord, help us to overcome every besetting sin, every sin that entraps, every sin of anger, sin of hatred, sin that. That, that cannot even be mentioned aloud. Lord, help us to overcome that we can go far in our intimacy with you, in our relationship with you, in our work with you. Lord, help us to go to overcome them in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. You know, we are on a race. The, the, the journey to heaven is not a short distance journey. It's a marathon. And the length differs from person to person. But you need the power to go far. Let me give you an instance of Judas Iscariot and Peter. Both of them sinned against Jesus. All right? Jesus told Judas, or he told the disciples, said, one of you that dip his hands in the, into the bowl with me will betray me. He said, but woe unto that man through which the Son of God is betrayed. It's better for him not to have been born. That was what Jesus responded. He knew what he was going to do, but that was his response. But for Peter... Jesus told him, Simon, Simon, the devil has asked to sift you as a wheat, but I have prayed for you that your faith may not fail. Say, so when you are strengthened, strengthen your brother. So the difference between the two of them was that Jesus gave Peter the power to go beyond the limitation, the mountain, the problem that was coming, but he did not give Judas. We are going to pray this morning. Lord, give me the strength to fight the good fight of faith. Give me the strength to keep the faith. The strength to finish the race. Lord, I receive this morning as you interceded for Peter. Lord Jesus, intercede for me. Intercede for me. Every shame, every sin, every fall that the devil has packaged for my destiny. Lord Jesus, intercede for me. Holy Spirit, intercede for me. I want to go far with you. I want to fight the good fight of faith. I want to finish the course. I want to finish the race. I want to keep the faith. 
Lord Jesus, help me. Give me the power to go far in you. To go far in my fellowship with you. To go far in my fellowship with you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Are you praying this morning? The most important journey that you must make is the journey of salvation. The journey to remain strong and to remain in the Lord till the last breath. Lord, help us to remain in you. Help us to remain in you. Help us to remain in you. That devil packaged that, that small girl to Peter. Three times he messed Peter up. But because of the prayer of Jesus, he was restored. Lord, every, every package of the devil to, to pull us away from the journey, from fellowship with you, Lord, give us the strength to overcome. Give me the strength to overcome. The strength to overcome, to arrive at my destination. Lord, to finish well with you, to have a quality fellowship with you, Lord, give unto me. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. We're still warming up. I'm only hearing beautiful voices. But the Lord will help you. Amen. If you must go far, then God must carry you on the eagle's wind. That will give you uncommon speed. You cannot compare the speed of somebody driving a car on the road and somebody flying a jet. Is it comparable? By the reason of distance that they cover per, per minute is incomparable. By the ability to overcome obstacles, a car driver would get to a junction and say, detour. He has to follow detour. That prolongs the journey. He has to get to a point where there will be road close. He has to navigate again and see where to go. But the one flying doesn't experience those things. God has to carry you on the eagle's wings. In Exodus 19 verse 4, 19 verse 4 Exodus, it says, you yourself have seen what I did to Egyptians and how I carried you on eagle's wind and brought you to myself. So you need God to carry you this morning to give you speed. Cry to God and say, Father, carry me in, in your wing. Carry me in your wing that I may escape all the roadblocks on my journey and grant me this and grant me speed. Grant me speed. Grant me speed. Grant my destiny speed in the journey of life. Grant my destiny speed. Uncommon speed. Give us the ability to overcome every roadblock in the name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, carry me. Carry your church on your wings. Carry us on the wings. Carry us on your wings. Grant us speed, Lord. Grant us speed, Lord. On common speed. In Jesus' name we pray. Maybe you don't understand. You know, when, when the Israelites were traveling, they met Red Sea. They passed through. They got to wilderness. They passed through. They got to Jordan. They passed through. They got to Jericho. The world gave way. It was because God carried them on his wings. Exodus 19 verse 4. So what stops man in destiny will not stop you if God carries you. And God will carry you. God will carry you. The forces that silence destiny will not have power over your destiny. The forces, the power that put glory to shame will not have power over your glory. In the mighty name of Jesus. That is what happens when God carries you. You understand it better right now. So pray that prayer again and say, Lord, carry me on your wings so that I can travel far and travel well. In the mighty name of Jesus, carry me, Lord. Carry me, Lord. I want to have a flight on your wings. 
I want to have a flight of destiny on your wings. Lord, carry me. Steadily carry me. Carry me, Lord, that I may escape all the roadblocks, all the detours on the way, all the dangers, all the, all the, all the troubles, all the delays. Lord, carry me on your wings. I want, to ex- I want to escape all of these bad things. Carry me on your wings, O Lord, that the Red Sea will see me and part, that Jordan will see me and give way, that Jericho will see me and fall flat. Lord, carry me on your wings. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, give me a flight, O Lord. Give me a flight on your wings. Give me a flight on your wings. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I pray that the Lord will grant you strength to go far in fellowshipping with him. From today, your, your, your Christian life will have meaning. You will be consistent with God. You will be steady growing in the Lord. Your knowledge of God will go deeper and deeper in the name of Jesus. All those besetting sin, the Lord is giving you power over them. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' name we pray. You can please have your seat. So we've just done that foundational work. Very necessary. So the second thing that a pharaoh we want to do is to make sure that you did not go far in united family experience. He doesn't want you to have unity in the family. And I tell people everywhere that a family that doesn't work it takes the grace and the message of God for the participant to make heaven. Because the troubles can be so much that it can affect the faith of people. That it can affect the, the decisions they make. But the Lord Almighty will, will give you power to go far in your family in the name of Jesus Exodus chapter 10 verse 8 to 11 is my reference I'll just summarize it let's not show that it's okay in that Pharaoh said to Israelite he said only the men can go and serve the Lord but the women and the children must stay back that was his device he wants it the husband to be serving the Lord and the wife to be serving the world. In some cases, he want the parents, father, and mother to be growing in the Lord and their children are growing in the world. It sets confusion and division in the family. It collapses their family altar. You know, a home where trouble becomes the order of the day, it doesn't take long for prayer to disappear. Because what they keep dealing with is the quarrel of yesterday, quarrel of two hours ago. And then gradually the fire on the altar in the family goes off. I pray the Lord will revive the fire in your family altar. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Another device of the, of the enemy in, the, in this area is that it creates a divided focus between the couples. The wife wants to pursue direction A and the, and the husband is pursuing direction B. It creates conflicting priority. When the husband says yes, the wife will be quick to overrule and the children are left in confusion of what to do. When that happens, tell yourself, be aware. You know, the scripture said that so that we don't become ignorant of the devices of the devil, lest he take advantage of us. When that happens, just swallow your pride, reset yourself. 
Talk to yourself. The devil doesn't want this marriage to go far. And seek the help of God. In any home that this may be happening, the Lord will intervene in Jesus' name. Amen. Another device that the devil does in this area, it makes either the wife to focus on the husband's weakness, or it makes the husband to focus on the wife's weakness, and they don't see anything good in themselves. He doesn't want them to go far. Every power that is contending with the unity of your family, the Lord will disgrace them today. Yeah. All their operations will be terminated. Yeah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. The scripture tells us of a man called Philip. Philip the evangelist. The Bible says he had four daughters. And they all prophesied. That is a family that is successful united in serving the Lord. That is how your family will be. Amen. That you, your wife, your husband, and your children will serve the Lord Amen. in unity of purpose. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Rise to your feet and let us pray on this. In the mighty name of Jesus, my family will go far. In the service of the law, in the knowledge of the law, we will show forth the glory of God. The devil will not stop us. The devil will not use my children against me. They will not use my spouse against me. Myself, my wife, my children, we will serve the law in unity of purpose. In the joy of the law, we will go far. We will go far. We will strengthen our, our, our stake in the law. In the mighty name of Jesus, every satanic manipulation, every satanic operation in every family in the Liberty Assembly that does not make, want them to go far, this money will stand upon this altar. We cancel it in the name of Jesus. We cancel it in the name of Jesus. For it is written that two are better than one. For they have good rewards for their labor. I declare every family connected to this place to show forth the praises of God. I declare that they will show forth the praises of God. They will shine the light of the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, every seed of every family we be great generous of the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus mighty God we declare we receive this morning the power to go far the power to go far as a family to serve the Lord as a family to honor the Lord as a family to fly high the banner of the most high God in the mighty name of Jesus the flag of heaven will not be uprooted in our homes. The flag of heaven, the banner of heaven, will not be uprooted in our families. In the name of Jesus, every family altar that has collapsed, we declare that they are coming back to life. Every fire that has been expunged on, on the family altar, we command a, 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 a reigniting of the fire. In the name of Jesus, Lord, as a family, we will go far in our service of you. We will go far in our knowledge of you. The wife, the husband, the children, we will serve the Lord. We will serve the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. The joy of the Lord will be our strength. Righteousness will be our banner. In the name of Jesus, we will go far in the fear of God. As a family, we will go far in fruitfulness. We will go far in multiplication. In the name of Jesus, we will advance steadily in family unity and prosperity. In the name of Jesus, Masakali Prozataya, Shelekelitaya, every strong goal of the devil against any family in this place that is disturbing them from going far. Lord, we join our faith. We uproot it. 
We uproot it. We uproot it. So it is and it shall be. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. The third thing, the first is he wants to attack their fellowship. The second, he wants to attack their family. The third thing, he wants to attack their finance. He doesn't want them to have financial freedom. You can please have your seat. Let me talk on this a bit. He doesn't want them to have financial freedom. Exodus 10, 24 on the screen. I don't preach about money. But when it's necessary, we must declare it's part of the gospel. Exodus 10, 24. Pharaoh called Moses and said, go and serve the Lord. Only let your flocks and your hearts be stayed. My version says, only let your flocks and your sheep be kept back. Let your little ones go with you. So he released the family, but he wanted to hold back their finances. In those days, flocks and cattle are the most important instrument of wealth. The same way we see oil and gold in our days. So he wanted them to go serve God empty-handed. He wanted them to serve God in penury, in poverty. Every power that is contending with your financial freedom, the Lord Almighty will rise against them today. In the mighty name of Jesus, every power that is holding you tight in a position of inadequacy, the Lord will disgrace them. In the name of Jesus. Now, what is the device that the devil uses, that Pharaoh uses to accomplish this in a contemporary war? He says to you, go to church. It's okay to dance and show yourself to the pastor. Don't give offering. Keep your flock back at home. Keep your credit card back at home. Keep your money back at home. I don't preach about money and you know me for that. If you know me for that, shout hallelujah. Okay, so thank God you know me. I can go two years and not talk about money. But this is what this scripture is saying. He said, go and sacrifice to your God. But keep your flock behind. Keep your cattle back. So when that mind is telling you to rationalize on your titan, he doesn't want you to go far. When that mind is telling you to disobey the spirit of God, the spirit of God that you will obey when he showed you your wife, you will disobey him when he tells you to give to God. He does, that mind doesn't want you to go far. We are going to cry to the Lord. Rise to your feet. In the name of Jesus. Every power that is contending with my financial life. In whatever way. In whatever way. This morning I break loose of you. I break loose from you. Every power contending with my financial life with my financial freedom in whatever way this morning I receive the power to overcome you I receive the power to go forward I receive the power to defeat you in the mighty name of Jesus my financial life is no longer under your control I am breaking loose I will serve the Lord with my flock I will serve the Lord with my cattle. I will serve the Lord with my resources. In the mighty name of Jesus, cry to the Lord for the grace. Cry to the Lord for the grace. It's not in the, in the quantity, but it's in the quality and the genuity of what you are bringing to the Lord. Lord, we receive power to be faithful, to be faithful, in our financial dealings with you. 
I receive grace to be faithful in our financial dealings with you. Oh Lord our God, shall leave we receive freedom to go forward financially, to advance financially, to move forward in abundance, to move forward in prosperity, in surplus and in plenty. In the mighty name of Jesus, we will not be suffering lack. In the name of Jesus, as you bless us, we will obey your spirit. Oh, to give to support your work. To give to support your work. In the name of Jesus. Every voice is, every voice that is, that is speaking to our mind. To disobey in the area of giving. Lord, we receive power to go forward. We receive power to advance beyond them. We receive power to, to, to progress and to press forward. In our financial dealings with you. In our financial dealings with you, we receive power to become more faithful in every area of life. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' name we pray. These are the things God is telling me to, to do. So I'm still within scope. Amen. You can have your seat. The Israelite led by Moses, they arrived at their destination. Even though they, they saw Red Sea on their way, Red Sea parted for them. They got to wilderness. 40 years, they survived. They got to Jordan. Jordan parted. These were forces that could have stopped them from advancing. Are you with me? But because they received the power to go forward, they were traveling on the wings of God himself. And God was clearing the pathway for them. When they got to the last point, the wall of Jericho, that wall fell flat. I pray for you this morning. You will arrive at your destination. You will reach your goals. Amen. You will finish well. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. nothing will stop you. Amen. Nothing will stop you. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We were praying here last night around 12.30 up to like past one with my wife and God said to me that on the account of this program, for somebody's destiny is receiving a new dimension. Amen. And that will be you in the name of Jesus. Amen. That you are coming out of this program with a brand new destiny. Amen. To possess the land. Amen. To advance steadily. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You know, we started the prayer at home and God said, go to the church and pray. And I told her, we have to be in church. I pray that the Lord Almighty will give you an unforgettable experience Amen. coming out of this place Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. So we've seen uh, one side of how or of the force that can make one not to go forward, the activities of Pharaoh. And Pharaoh acts in three ways. To stop the fellowship with God, to stop the family unity, and to stop financial freedom. Those are easy, is that correct? The second activity, this is powerful, powerful, is the activities of the forces of principalities and power. Activities of who? The principalities and power. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12 For we wrestle not against the flesh and blood but against principalities against powers against the rulers of darkness of this world and against spiritual wickedness in high places. 
they are still operating in our time. They operated in the time of Paul. And Paul documented it to the church of Ephesus. They are still operating in our time. I, with my eyes, I have seen a flyer year 2015. A flyer circulating announcing the meeting of the witches and wizards here in Kagri. How many people saw that? Okay, so it's good. In the matter of two or three witnesses, the truth will be established. Activities of principle. So what would they be discussing in their, in their meeting? You are the agenda. I am the agenda. Don't you know? When the powers and principalities convey a meeting, the children of God are the agenda. So we must not be ignorance of their devices lest they take advantage of us, says the scripture. How do they operate? Ezekiel 13, on the screen please. These are our final scripture today. Ezekiel 13, 18 to 20. Follow this scripture. It's a prayer point. Ezekiel 13, 18 to 20. All the prayer points that we have remaining is coming, they are coming from here. Ezekiel 13. I'm waiting. 18 to 20. Thus says the Lord God, woe to the woman who seal magic charms on their sleeves and make veils for the heads of people of every height to hunt souls. Let us pause there. They saw what? Magic charms. To do what? Can you not talk to me? To hunt souls. So when they hunt soul, you know, the soul is the ultimate thing that a man can give up. Are you following? When the soul drops, the man is gone. So if they can hunt soul, they go for the, for the most important thing. It then means that they also will naturally and easily hunt destiny. They will hunt glory. Are you with me? Lest they take advantage of us. Let us be aware of their devices. So they hunt soul. And the scripture says for that, will you hunt the souls of my people and keep yourself alive? When I was reading this, I said impossible. Everyone that comes for my soul will go for it. Amen. Everyone that comes for your soul will go for it. Amen. Everyone that comes for your marriage will go for it. Amen. Everyone that comes for your destiny will go for it. Amen. Everyone that comes for your glory will go for it. Amen. Every power that comes for your joy will go for it. In the mighty name of Jesus. Verse 9, nine verse 19. And will you profane me among my people for the handful of barley and for pieces of bread? This is instructive. Killing people who should not die. So not every death is from God. Many deaths. Hey. The Lord reminded me just now. I was driving one day back in Nigeria and I saw a, a, a rift between a young man and a, an older man. They were both driving. And I saw the young man, you know, sticking out the middle finger at the older man. And the older man parked his car and was speaking. You could, you could interpret what he was doing. He was conjuncting something. He was looking at the boy and he was, you know, banging his hand on something, touching his tongue. Thank God for wisdom. That young man was wise. He also packed and went to beg. When you see death, you're wrong. He packed, he went to beg. I'm sorry, sir. And the man said, God help you. 
You only have seven days to go. May you not offend those that will not forgive you. May you not offend the wicked. The man said you... The, the man said he only had seven days to go. So not every death comes from God. This scripture says that this magic charm, what they use it to do is to unsoul and to keep people ahead of their time. You will not be their victim. Amen. Your family will not be their victim. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Let's jump to verse 20. Verse 20 says, Therefore, thus says the Lord God, Behold, I am against your magic charms, by which you own souls. They are like birds. I will tear them from your charms and let the souls go. The Lord will fight your battles. In the mighty name of Jesus. So you, you understood the scripture activities of the powers and principality to hunt destiny. You see a young man for no reason, he will just be misbehaving. Such glory has been hunted down. May your glory not be hunted down. Yeah. You see a marriage that, that started so well, genuine love, good intention, and then this goes out. It has been hunted down. You see a brilliant student graduated from school, first class result, and then to secure the list of the job in town is impossible. That glory has been hunted down. Rise to your feet. You are praying this prayer for yourself and for your children and the ones unborn. Every activity of the magic charms targeted to hunt me down, to hunt down my children in the journey of destiny, catch fire today. Catch fire today. Their only intention is not to allow their victim not to go far. It's to frustrate their journey so that they don't go far. They hunt down their soul. They hunt down their glory. They hunt down their destiny. They hunt down their marriage. They hunt down their finance. Every good thing just to frustrate their journey. And then the person fell into depression. May I speak to you this morning that you, somebody can fall into depression is a show of lacking the power to go far. Lord, every activity of the magic charms targeted against my life, targeted against the life of my family, against the life of the children of God in my care, against the people of God in the Liberty Assembly, every activity of the magic charm to hunt down souls, to hunt down glory, to hunt down destiny, to hunt down marriages, to hunt down finances, catch fire, catch fire in the mighty name of Jesus, catch fire. Every activity of the magic charm, oh, that will not want us to go far, that will not want us to go far. Hear the word of the Lord. The Bible says, God resist you. It says, I will tear them down. I tear your activity down. In the mighty name of Jesus, I tear your activity down. In the name of Jesus, for it is written, He frustrates the devices of the wicked that they may not perform their enterprise. He frustrates the devices of the wicked that they may not perform their enterprise. I frustrate your activity. Every satanic operations targeted at my journey of destiny, targeted at my journey of glory, targeted at my destiny, I frustrate your activity. I frustrate the activity. 
every spirit that moves a person to be misbehaving or oh, to be wasting time in destiny we cancel the operation this morning we cancel the operation this morning the Lord is against you the Lord is against you he says behold I am against your magic charms says the Lord of hosts I am against your mighty champs, say the Lord of hosts. Every power of the harm that has been used against any life, against any destiny in this place, against any glory, against any marriage, hear the word of God. I set you ablaze with the fire of the Holy Spirit. I set you ablaze with the fire of the Holy Spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus, every decision to hunt down soul in this place, every satanic decision to hunt down destiny in this place, we reverse in the name of Jesus. We reverse in the name of Jesus. That scripture says they kill those who should not die. Every predetermined appointment every predetermined appointment with death in the realm of the wicked this morning I cancel in the name of Jesus I stand upon the word of God for who is that a man that speaketh and it comes to pass when God has not commanded I declare the word of God concerning your life and your children that you will live you will live you will live you will fulfill destiny in the mighty name of Jesus in this place there shall not be a widow in this place there shall not be a widower in the mighty name of Jesus the activity of the magic charm is destroyed their operations is cancelled in the mighty name of Jesus every power to stop anyone in this place, in the journey of destiny, we frustrate that power. I frustrate that power. I frustrate their devices. In the mighty name of Jesus, I will go far in destiny. My children will go far in destiny. My wife will go far in destiny. The people of God in my care will go far in destiny. In the name of Jesus, our souls will not be hunted down. Our glory will not be hunted down. Our joy will not be hunted down. In the name of Jesus. Every activity of the magic charm calling for your life, calling for your soul, calling for your glory, calling for your job, calling for your marriage, Calling for your firstborn. I cancel in Jesus' name. In whatever way they have concluded their devices, devices of the wicked shall not stand. In the mighty name of Jesus. Because you have been empowered to go far. Every trouble they roll on your journey we become your testimony in the name of Jesus every shame they have packaged for you we become your story to glory in the name of Jesus every power of the horn that has been used to speak against your destiny I cancel in Jesus name I silence their voices over you and your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. So it is and it shall be. In Jesus name we pray. Praise the Lord.